Your, your Excellencies will be taking two questions, uh, two each from the respective uh, journalists from the respective countries. If I can have anyone. Yes. Introduce yourself and the media house you represent, please. Thank you. Your Excellencies, President William Ruto and Cyril Ramaphosa. My name is Victor Kiprop. I'm a journalist with BBC Africa. Uh, congratulations on the agreements you have reached today. And um, aviation is also one of the areas that the two countries have previously agreed to partner and enhance their, um, of course, strengths. Um, I wanted to find out the status of the strategic uh, partnership framework that the two countries signed in November last year and if the two countries are on course for uh, the launch of the Pan-African um, Airline Group next year. Thank you. Next question. Thank you. Uh, Your Excellencies, my name is uh, Robert Luther. I work with uh, SABC. Uh, you just came from uh, Egypt from the climate uh, conference. Uh, my question is, many African countries are critical about agreements African leaders signed at the climate change summits, uh, especially loans and commitment to stop using uh, fossil fuels and coal, while developed countries are using these resources. What are your views on this? And this is to uh, the both presidents. Thank you. OK. Uh, I think we can take those two first, and then we can take the final two. Um, on the matter of South Africa Airways and Kenya Airways, this was a subject of discussion between me and President Ramaphosa and our teams. And we have agreed that uh, that agreement should be progressed uh, forwards. It, pres it presents an opportunity for both South Africa and Kenya to work together to build a pan-African airline. We are committed to ensuring that the agreement that was signed between our two airlines uh, goes forward. And at the technical level, there is a lot of work going on. And we look forward to making sure that the agreement that was signed um, eventually uh, brings about a Pan-African airline. And on the subject of the agreements that was signed, um, I think specifically the agreements that were signed in uh, Sharm el-Sheikh were not necessarily about exploitation of hydrocarbons. I think these were green agreements on um, solar energy, on green hydrogen energy, on geothermal energy, wind and solar energy, progressing our desire to do the right thing. I know there is a conversation as to whether we should not be doing what the developing countries have done. They have exploited their hydrocarbon resources, whether we should not be doing ours. It is our belief that it is always the time to do the right thing. It is also our belief that two wrongs never add up to a right. So while we know the wrongs of the past, we can right them by doing the right thing now going into the future. And that is why South Africa is talking about just transition. And that's why Kenya is escalating our renewable energy resources and exploitation, as was witnessed by the agreements that we signed.